Hamming codes are a system that allows us to use extra parity bits within data to not only detect but also correct single bit errors. OK, here we have a, an 8 bit piece of data and we're going to add the parity bits. They're always positioned at the bit positions of powers of 2, so 1, 2, 4, and 8. And we put the data in between these parity bits as you can see here. So where the question marks are is where our parity bits are going to be. 1, 2, 4 and 8. OK, let's now calculate these different uh, parity bits. To do this, <coughs> we start at the bit position for the, where the parity bit is and then we do some check, skip, check, skip. And we do this based on the number uh, of the parity. So here for the parity bit 1 we're going to use the first bit, we're going to skip then we're going to use, then we're going to skip, then we're going to use, skip, use, and we just repeat that all of the way along um, using the skip, use, skip, use, etc. As you can see, we end up not using the parity, the other parity bits. So for parity bit 2, we're going to start at, at position 2, we're going to use the first two bits, skip 2, use 2, skip 2, use 2, skip 2, and we're done. Starting at parity bit 4, we're going to use the first 4. Then we're going to skip 4, and then use the next 4, or in our case the one that's left. We do the same, starting at position 8, we're going to use the first 8, and that'll be all of our data. So at the moment we don't know what the parity bits are going to be, so let's calculate them now. It uses even parity, so in our case we have two ones here, so the parity bit would be zero. We have an odd number there, so it's going to be a one. <coughs> an even number there, so it's going to be zero. An odd number, uh, so we'll need a one again. Now what we do is we simply insert these calculated values where the parity bits would be. So at parity position one, we use the zero. At parity position two, we're going to use the one. At parity position 4, we're going to insert our 0. And at parity position 8, we'll use our 1 that we'd calculated. And there we have our data that will be sent.